Today we're looking at a repeater for Wi-Fi from Wavelink. Uh, this was sent to me to make this video and give my opinion on it. Um, this is a dual band outdoor access point, so it's going to cover the 5 gigahertz plus the um, 2.4 gigahertz bands. And it's going to be able to extend your Wi-Fi far beyond your standard network uh, mesh might be able to do. Um, it does it with some really powerful antennas, and here's what you're going to get in the box. Comes with this unit here. It's got this center uh, cylindrical piece, and then you're going to attach four antennas with some supporting braces. It just clicks together real easy and threads these in. You're also going to get a uh, short piece of uh, Cat5 cable. This is going to be connecting into the device and providing power through a PoE, which is power over Ethernet. Uh, little booster here that's going to put electricity uh, in through the cabling so that it gets through here and into the unit to power it. So it's called PoE Power Over Ethernet. Now I'm outside here and this is where I'd like to extend the Wi-Fi signal to is this open field. And what I've done is I've attached the antenna to the second balcony here, second story balcony, using uh, the tie wraps that they give you. I've attached it up to that railing and run my land cable into the house. And so you can just barely see it there. It's uh, pretty camouflaged uh, by design and uh, the coloring and whatnot, but that's where we'll have it mounted. And now let's go and do some testing with it. So here's our look at our power input. Got the plug going into the power in the wall, coming into the PoE connector. And then I've got my input LAN. This is coming in from my network plugging into that input and now this is going outside to the Wi-Fi extender. So we're back outside and standing right underneath uh, the Wavelink and what we're going to do is I'm going to walk out in this field straight out there. I'm going to go out 50 meters, then 100 meters, then 150. So total distance at the very end will be 450 uh, feet from this location and we'll do some testing along the way. Okay, so here we are at 50 meters. We're gonna to head to do a speed test. Uh, looking at this device here, I've got full um, bars and I've got a wavelength connection. We're gonna hit speed test, see what we get. We got a milliseconds of about 30. All right, we're downloading pretty fast for this connection, 160. Upload is coming in at about eight which is pretty good. Let's go out to 100 meters and see what we get there. Okay, here we are at 100 meters. And looking at the bars, we've still got full bars and connected to Wavelink. Let's run another test. We're coming in uh, same latency, similar download speed, pretty fast. And looks like we're uploading about the same. I don't usually get very fast uploads with this uh, connection that I have, um, but that's it for 100 meters. Let's go out to 150. Okay, we are way out here at 150 meters from the location. We're still pulling in, if you can believe it, full bars on the wavelength. Oh, there we go, down to two. So it looks like it's bouncing a little bit between two and full bars. There's full again. Let's go ahead and run another test. Latency about the same. Boy, downloads still coming in strong. Upload pretty consistent, hovering around 10. And there you go. So, wow, this is amazing. So at this distance, to be able to pull in Wi-Fi with that amount of latency and speed of download, I'm impressed. So, hey, I think this Wavelink really works. If you need a signal amplifier for your Wi-Fi signal, this is definitely one to consider. Um, I hope this video was helpful, and I hope, as always, that you have a great day.